So now we are ready to color our alebrijes and you can use crayons, markers, or both. I'm going to use both and I'm going to color my alebrije a bunch of different bright colors. So I like to outline with my marker before I color it in with my crayons. For this part of my penguin, I'm going to use light pink, and then I'm going to use this color, it's called Violet Red. And I'm starting off with my light pink, but then I'm going to slowly blend my Violet Red down. So when you are coloring, you don't just have to use one color. You can mix your colors, you can blend them into each other. You can even layer them, so have different colors go on top of one another and that can help your colors appear bright and smooth. I'm gonna go over everything one more time with this lighter pink. And it might sound like I'm pressing hard, but I'm really not. I'm not pressing down hard. Now, I am going to do the inside, so right here. But first, I'm going to outline my beak and my feet. Move it so you can see it. For this, I'm gonna do the same thing, use a lighter purple and a darker purple. blend the darker purple on top. Go over it one more time. And something cool you can do is you can also use the white. You can blend the white on top of your colors. It might not seem like it makes a difference, but it does. It lightens up your colors and it makes them look a little bit smoother. So see the difference between this and this? It's very subtle, like it's hard to notice, but the difference is there. You can even line it up even more when you add in the white. So that looks really cool. So right now I'm layering this darker blue with this lighter blue to make it a little bit smoother. So I'm going over I'm like outlining these petals with the blue and that's blending on top of the lighter green and that gives it a cool effect as well. So don't be afraid to layer your colors and blend them in order to figure out what the final product looks like. You don't just need to stick to one color, you can explore and experiment.
can be kind of tricky to color the bottom. So if you don't really like a color, you can always layer it with another color in order to change it. And I actually want to outline this with my green.